Today, one islander is removed from the villa. Welcome to Love Struck Island, the show where I, your host Kelsey, take you through the new Sims 4 expansion pack, Love Struck, but with a reality TV show twist. We have our islanders stuck in a villa together in a club where love is on the menu. And oh my gosh, crushes and drama galore. Last time I asked you to vote out one of our islanders and you all pretty much were unanimous in the idea that we are kicking Sergio Romero to the curb. A lot of you had some fantastic ideas on who to bring into the island next, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. If you're new here or if you just haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me to hit a million subscribers someday and you can help us make it happen. I'm loving all the love on this series. Honestly, this series is giving me life. One of you had a fantastic idea of randomizing who goes on the dates together. So not just like our favorite Sims, but like rando Sims to cause drama. I both love and hate this idea. I love this idea because I love the chaos, but I hate this idea because I just really love Nalani and Jeff together and I don't want anything bad to happen to them either. But this is Love Struck Island and we gotta, we gotta bring the drama, okay? The producers have spoken and they said, more drama please, okay? So we're, we don't know what's gonna happen or at least we don't know fully what's gonna happen once we enter the villa, but we do know that we're kicking our boy Sergio to the curb. So let's go do that. Oh my God, this is so sad. I just loaded up the game and it says new personality trait. Sergio has been really feeling cheerful lately. Things are going so well and Sergio hasn't a care in the world. Embrace the change. Yeah. Also, Sergio, it is your time. You've been dumped from the island. Get your bags and pack, Sergio, because we're kicking you out. Jeb is now attracted to Sergio. What? Jeb! Okay, Jeb, look at him. He saw him from across the room and was like, that man, now that he's cheerful, I suddenly see it, I suddenly get it. Unfortunately, it's too late. Also, you have a woman, so it's fine. Just because Jeb's attracted doesn't mean that he's gonna act on it, right? So everything's still good. Jeb, you wandering eyes. I get it though, it's still early days in the villa, but our man Sergio's got to go, okay? We gotta kick him out. So our girl Kaylee's gonna come over here who is technically the leader of the club and she is going to kick him out. It's time to kick him out of the villa. You gotta be get gone, King, all right? You're not coupled up here. It's time for you to get out. We've all voted, the people have voted. Kaylee has kicked Sergio out of Love Struck Villa. Sorry, Sergio. It's time for you to pack your bags and hit the road. You're gonna split from the household and move. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Don't worry, Sergio. All of the contestants of Love Struck Island become social media influencers to a certain degree. So you have plenty to look forward to. I really thought Sergio and, and Kaylee could have had it all because Kaylee, of course, loves a rich man and his goal is to be fabulously wealthy. I really thought they were gonna hit it off, but it, it didn't work out in the villa. So our couples as they stand right now are Kaylee, who is jealous. Oh, why is she so sad? Doomed relationship, what just happened? It feels like it's been forever since Kaylee has been romantic with her partner. It might be paranoia, but it could be anxiety or a gut feeling. It feels like jealousy is rampant right now because I feel like Jeb just got super jealous the other day too. But Kaylee just can't help but wonder what her partner's up to or who they're seeing behind her back. She's feeling sus of Raul, which I mean, I think Raul is, doesn't he have a crush on, no, he has a crush on no one else. So I, I don't, but Jay does have a crush on Raul. She uh, finds him attractive. So doomed relationship walked on, you know, on someone else you really care about with someone else. Bro's swimming laps. He's swimming energized laps. He's doing nothing. I mean, these two are, are flirting it up, but you don't have a relationship with either of these two, Kaylee. Unless, wait, let me see Kaylee. Hold on. Kaylee, do you have any romance with anyone? Nalani? It's Nalani you're jealous of? Oh my God. Look, she's got a negative response from Nalani. Looming anxiety, fear of being cheated on. She's jealous of Nalani. That is some tea. Nalani, as we know, actually is attracted to Kaylee, but it's not going so well right now. Jeb's happy as a clam. He's 
bliss. He's in lover's bliss. He had some dreamy sky gazing. He feels like he confronted his fears of being jealous of Nalani. He's feeling fulfilled. He's They're growing stronger together from them tackling his fear together. Kyoshi Ito also feeling pretty good, feeling fulfilled from his relationship with Jade. He's like, this is going pretty well. And uh, Jade over here feeling pretty confident. I think she's like vibing that she's with Kyoshi. So yeah, wild that she is jealous of Nalani. Girl, I wanna see, is she gonna like go say anything to them? Are you gonna talk to Nalani? Oh my gosh, she is. She's gonna go slap Nalani in the face. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, girl. She just slapped this girl who is not even in a couple with her, who's actually in a relationship with someone else. And she's like, I can't believe. I think maybe is this the first she's realizing they're in a relationship? I don't know. I mean, they were kind of in the, the they were kind of sequestered off by themselves a lot of last episode, so. Well, oh my gosh, that was tea. Let's see if anything else with these couples happens. Okay. Oh my gosh, caught with another. Maybe it's not such a good idea to have multiple relationships at once, especially if one's supposed to be a secret. Wait, I don't think they were that deep though. Like she wants to discuss dating standards. Needs requires a unique approach to the romantic relationships. She needs to, ch she wants to chat about relationship yeah. standards and she wants to embrace Jeb because that's her boyfriend. Wild. Meanwhile, Kaylee is giving herself a pep talk in the mirror, crying in the girl's dressing room. Oh my gosh, devastated. And oh my gosh, now she wants to argue about politics with Nalani who is using the restroom. I didn't realize Nalani would be like that it girl of the villa, but honestly, no one should be surprised. She's absolutely stunning. They should discuss their dating standards. Be like, I feel like you need to know I'm with Jeb. Is there something secret going on between these two Sims that even I am not quite aware of? One of you guys said that Kaylee and, it looked like Kaylee and Jade kissed at one point. Melania has learned Jeb's romantic boundaries. Non-physical romance will trigger jealousy. Physical romance, excluding woohoo, will trigger jealousy and woohoo will trigger jealousy. He's open to reconsidering romantic boundaries. And Kaylee has learned Raul's romantic boundaries. Is this because they're about to flirt in front of both of those people? Kaylee is pleased to gain deeper insight into Nalani's love perspective. Both Sims are now feeling more confident about their shared romantic future. Jeb saw Nalani break his romantic brownies and is thinking of breaking up. Oh my God, I knew it. I knew Jeb would be upset because she's talking to Kaylee about this. Okay, well, we gotta go talk to Jeb now because it's drama. Let's maybe apologize. Yeah, let's discuss a healthy relationship. Be like, hey man, I was just chatting with Kaylee. I know it seems somewhat romantic. Raul was cheated on by someone he cared about and is in a jealous rage. I feel like I was just trying to make everything better and I made everything work. How did this happen? Oh my gosh, I guess, yeah, Raul's jealous. It's time for some damage control with our, our man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta discuss some healthy relationships. Oh, he's so mad, drifting love. <laughs> Oh my God, I didn't mean to do anything. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, Raul. I mean, Raul and Kaylee are on again, off again anyway. So it kind of makes sense that these two are gonna have some drama going on. So let's go sit together over here. Jeb is having his first experience understanding a positive or resilient romantic outlook. With enough of these kind of experiences, Sims can develop the romantic sage trait. Oh, cool. Okay, just because they talked about healthy relationships. As he already pressed his impressionable formative years, this trait will be slightly harder for Jeb to develop. Doing some work to learn about healthy romance, such as researching on the computer or talking to Sims at healthy relationships, will help increase his understanding in order to develop the trait. That is so interesting. So he can like learn to be in a healthy relationship. We need you to go chat with your mans over here. That's perfect. Okay, so these two need to have a heart to heart. Let's have her complain about her problems to Raul, I guess. And Raul, why don't you brighten her day? He's feeling a little bit drifting love here. Oh my God, please don't turn, flip a J to the fire pit on. Please, please, please don't light anything on fire again. Let's have a deep conversation between them. Maybe like tenderly embrace him. I feel like they need, she wants to, get to know Jeb. Wait, that's so cute. They're like literally best friends too. They're 
relationship bars through the roof. Oh, she learned he's handy. He, she didn't know that. Flatter him. Ask for Cupid's counseling. That's kind of cute. I wonder what that does. Honestly, since we are exploring the expansion pack, maybe we should do it. It's a thousand simoleons. The, the producers have decided because this is everyone's favorite romantic couple and because I messed up because I didn't realize I was doing a romantic interaction, okay, that we're going to give them Cupid's counseling. Let's ask for some Cupid's love counseling. I want to see what happens with that one. Yeah. I think they deserve oh, it, okay? They deserve this. Check them out a little uh, bit too. Uh, Do you want to work on some to counseling roll. together? Oh, I know we're in a flipping mm. reality <laughs> show, so there's going to be a lot of jealousy going on. Are they going now? Okay, they're going to the counseling. Okay, I'm assuming this is just like a situation where they just disappear, uh -huh. but I, I do want to know what happens. So we're following them. These two are going to counseling. She's feeling confident for setting standards. Nilani is proud to have put herself and her needs first. Go off, Nilani. Thank you for spending the Love Struck Island budget. All right, back to Kaylee, who's having a rough go and is sunning herself at the fire. Uh, apparently she's making marshmallows and chatting with Raul. So Raul, they have no romance anymore. <laughs> Oh no, Raul just was like, I'm over this. So Raul seems to be good friends with Kaylee, but like fully doesn't trust her and doesn't want to be in a relationship with her, which makes me a little sad, but honestly, I think it's kind of drama and tea. So I'm willing to let that slide. Jade, however, is still chatting with Kyoshi. They're just vibing over here. They're having some good, oh, and they're flirting and stuff too. They're having some good vibes. Maybe they should have their first kiss. I was just about to have Jade have her first kiss with uh, Kyoshi. But we cut back to our Cupid's counseling. Oh my God, look at Chewie and his new blankie. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He's just like curled up, happy as a clam. Back with the Cupid's counseling with Nalani and Jeb. Let's start with you, Nalani. Close your eyes, look within. What are your feelings sensing your body today? I'm feeling confident. She was feeling pretty confident. It's so good to hear you're feeling well. Let the feelings wash over you like syrup on pancakes. Is it Bob Pancakes doing this? The spongy bread of your relationship can soak up the gooey positivity and provide you with years of delicious happiness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Let's see what Jeb has in store here. But okay, these two are having their first kiss in the bathroom. <laughs> and they got interrupted by Jeb. How about you, Jeb? How are you feeling today? I can't complain. That's so great to hear. Soak it up, Jeb. Life is a chaotic dance. Our motivations ebb and flow like the wind. We must take care of ourselves first and foremost before we can devote ourselves to others. Start getting to know the person within, Jeb. Okay, I don't think they're really talking about their issues, but that's fine. These two are having a pretty good time. Oh no, it looks like cannot unsee from privacy violation. And he also has privacy invaded. So apparently one of them was trying to use the toilet and the other one walked in on them. I'm assuming it was Jade. And now they're having a kiss. This is what we missed. Okay, let's get to the root of your issues. Here we go, finally. What are you having trouble with? We're not having trouble with attraction. We're not having ro romantic satisfaction. Romantic dynamic. Maybe the romantic relationship. You'd like to improve your own overall romantic relationship. Let's get into it. Okay. All right, this is hilarious. So they had a little meet cute at the toilet. Kyoshi's like, okay, now I'm going to the toilet though for realsies. And Jade's like, okay. It just feels like we're not making progress in our relationship. I mean, we're together, but are we really together? Ooh, okay. Let's, I guess, vent to each other. That makes me nervous though. I don't want them to break up. Let's ask for some advice. Pay close attention to the discussion at hand. If you are listening closely to your partner, you may be able to know when the conversation has become unpleasant or awkward. Now it just feels like a tutorial, so I don't like that. Sometimes you just have to step away from each other and try again at another time. Oh, that's actually good relationship advice in general, but also, yeah, I guess it's good Sims advice, so you can't force it sometimes. Okay. I guess they're, this is fine. Kaylee is feeling very sad and she's gonna cry it out in her bed. So she's feeling upset that she kind of wrecked things with Raul. Raul is feeling also kind of upset. Everything is going wrong. Well, I would love to dive into this more, but we are at time for today. What is your goal that both of you had for the next week? Do new things together, improve our romantic relationship. That is our goal. Oh yes, please do improve your romantic lives. A little flirt here and there shows you care for one another. Very cute. This is so cute and honestly pretty healthy that there's like couples counseling. I think that's so cute. I like this edition. I, I hope that it has like game impacts and not just like you go and nothing happens. So I hope their like romantic relationship is improved since they come back or like something. Okay, Nalani just had her first experience understanding a positive or resilient romantic outlook. With enough of these kinds of experience, she can develop the romantic sage trait. Okay, so apparently by going, they could Nalani could also become a romantic sage. That's really cute. All right, Raul's doing his own thing. Jade is also doing her own thing. She's gonna go cook some marshmallows. 
probably next to Raul actually. So maybe Raul might wanna, he might wanna like jump in on the on the Jade train since Jade's a single Pringle now. I don't know. Raul is sitting right there next to Jade. So why don't you, you know, ask her about her day? Why don't you brighten her day and chat with her a bit? Okay, how's Jeb doing? How is it with Nilani? Okay, still pretty much the same, but it looks like they have a relationship thing. Let's see. In therapy, Nilani and Jeb are trying to work out their issues in couples counseling. It's difficult work, but it's worth it. That's kind of cute that they got a sentiment at least. I don't know if the sentiment's really doing much. Is it giving them any moodlets maybe? Goal of romantic improvement from going to, oh, so they have a goal and that like we could work on that. Okay. That's kind of cute. Feeling close, has shared good moments. I think it's kind of impacted their mood. He's definitely got the goal of romantic improvement. So yeah, he is he fulfilled in his romance with her? That's so interesting. Is he still feeling satisfied? Jeb is feeling satisfied and so is she in their romantic uh, feelings for each other. So that's really cute. Okay, why don't we make out in the closet? Yeah, she's feeling confident. I didn't realize we had a closet on the premises. So that makes me happy. Oh, and Kaylee has been enjoying the great outdoors and has brought out her more adventurous side. Should she embrace the adventurous change? You know what? Go for it, Kaylee. Attraction gained. Jade has now learned more about Kaylee and is now attracted to her. Nalani has learned more about Kaylee and is now neutral to her. Oh, okay. So Nalani actually likes Kaylee a lot less after all of this experience. So that's kind of interesting, but I love that Jade has learned more about Kaylee. Is it the adventurousness of Kaylee that has made Jade turn her eye? Maybe an unexpected new couple might be forming here with Jade and Kaylee. Perhaps they have a chitty chat of their own. Check out, okay. Compliment her appearance, maybe. Give her, oh. give her a little flirt, oh. see how it goes. Yeah. Jade is feeling quite outgoing. Yeah, go for it, girl. She'd be like, oh, Zombo, cutie pies. Oh, I'm worried that Kiyoshi's gonna feel jealous. We'll see how all that goes down. But meanwhile, Nilani and Jeb, okay, aren't they gonna go make out in a closet? Where did Jeb go? Oh, this is the closet. Okay, cute. Aw, he's feeling cute. They're feeling pretty good after their, uh, after their cute little romantic aside here. So at least they're working on it. Kaylee, however, fully, fully uh, lost uh, Raul there. Raul's no longer feeling it. Jade is going to the bathroom. But how's Jade feeling? Jade literally is into everybody. <laughs> Get it, Jade. Kyoshi is not, is into Nilani, but he does have some relationship with Jade now. And Nilani's feeling very flirty after her little makeout sesh with Jeb. Jeb's also feeling very flirty and happy, but he's gonna go maybe take a little shower. Uh, oh no, Jeb's back with the bag on his head. Maybe he's kind of regressing a bit here. I don't know. He's feeling a little, he's got this frowny face bag too. Feels bad, man. All right, Jeb, you king. Go off. Nilani having a good time. She's feeling pretty good. Kiyoshi's actually feeling quite flirty. He keeps flirting with her. They keep flirting on their own. I don't even see, oh, her romance went down. I wonder, was that with, with Kiyoshi? I don't know. Their flirting uh -huh. keeps going up even though they're just kind of walking. They're both gonna go dance together. Okay, cutie patooties. Where's Kiyoshi? Okay, Kiyoshi's over here. So we're starting an impromptu dance party. We love to see it. Kaylee, she's making a drink for herself. She's bartending it up. The Islanders are having a ball. Now, I think it's about time to save here and introduce two new bombshells into the villa. That's right. Two new bombshells are coming into the villa and they are ready to spice things up. Uh, speaking of spice, our first bombshell is Nina Caliente. This hot villainous Valentine is ready to be everyone's problem. Her turn ons are broke sims, ambitionless sims, and woohoo and affection. Her turn offs include sims that are interested in the culinary arts or health and sports, and pet enthusiasts. She is not a dog person. <laughs> 
or a cat person or a horse person or any kind of an animal person. Nina Caliente is romantic, hot-headed, dastardly, and non-committal. So our love-struck islanders are gonna have a time with this one. But she's not the only one welcomed into the villa. Our hero, Clement Frost, is joining her. Yes, the Clement Frost who saved them all from the fire. Also, in a parallel universe, Kayleen Fuchishmae's ex-husband. She did marry Clement Frost in her Let's Play. I keep mentioning the Gold Digger Let's Play, but it is honestly so such a wild ride. But yes, he's also featured in that one. But obviously, uh, you know, different world, different folks. This friend of the world is a good, childish, cheerful, and gregarious, but let's find out his turn-ons and turn-offs. Now, first, <laughs> For Clement, I actually randomized it and did not check them. Nina Caliente, I kind of just a little bit, but him I didn't look at at all. So let's see what happens with him. His turn-ons are, does he have any turn-ons? Gift giving and physical intimacy. The gift giving one, bravo for Sims. Flippin' nailed it on that one. And physical intimacy, he's a touchy, touchy man. Oh, I forgot, he has, he likes turquoise hair. Okay, super random. His turn offs include sims that are interpersonal or interested in engineering and pet enthusiasts. We have a lot of pet haters. I understand Santa. I mean, if I had to, you know, enter people's homes in the middle of the night, maybe I wouldn't be that into pets either. <laughs> Let's figure out what our islanders, how our islanders feel about these two new smexy symbols as we welcome them into the love island. Island Villa. All right, let's let's uh, let's go invite Clement Frost into the villa. Say like, hi, That's Clement. Like, welcome. Oh my God, Kibaya. these, these two. Let's all gather here for a party. It's Lovestruck Villa <laughs> o'clock. We got to celebrate our new, new members. Soda. Oh, she's just chatting with Clement, <laughs> getting to Shoshi. know him. Okay, Slay. Nina Caliente was making a grilled cheese, but she's going over here. Clement's entering the villa. Welcome, Clement. A lot of you said that you wanted Clement in the villa. So here he is. We'll see who he uh, attr finds attractive. Oh. These two are chatting, the two newbies. Now, traditionally in the TV show Love Island, I've never seen two bombshells get together with each other. They're normally there to cause chaos with the Islanders. So there, I think there must be a rule that they can't get together. I don't know that for a fact. They've never like established that, but I'm gonna make that a rule so that these two will not be able to get together. They're gonna have to chat with the new oh, Islanders. Oh, Oh, oh my gosh, know. okay. They're all chatting in oh, the tree. Oh, oh, job of so that's shoes. cuties. Okay, why don't you, Nina? Oh, Clement recently acquired the romance skill. And romantic satisfaction begins between Clement and Raul. <laughs> Clement and Raul have strong romantic relationship and will now each have independent romantic satisfaction levels. They have learned woohoo interest. Oh my God, are they gonna go woohoo? Um, are they gonna go woohoo? Now he's chatting with Jade, who is, okay. They talked about woohooing. Santa and Raul, Raul, do you even find Santa attractive? No, okay. Well, they talked about woohooing, so that's interesting. Clement Frost and Jade are both getting into their first fight. Oh no! Why are they fighting? Oh my God, who's gonna win this fight? I feel like the Islanders are insane right now. Oh, it's Santa. Well, okay. Well, now they don't like each other, I don't think. Look at this. Okay, where's Jade's opinion? She's dazed. Oh, and slight discontent from being unsatisfied in a romantic relationship. She's unsatisfied with her relationship with Kiyoshi, which is interesting. She feels a little bit of a grudge after that fight. Oh my God, that's amazing. I love it. Okay, Nina's actually gonna chat with Kiyoshi a bit. Oh my goodness. It Give a little talk. flirt. Oh, but he rejected Nina's advances. Okay, does he not, does Kiyoshi not like Nina? He doesn't know that much about Nina. Nina so far doesn't seem to be interested in anyone. Looks like uh, for some reason, Jade is still chatting up Santa. I don't know what happened to Raul and Santa. He's gonna go sleeping. Interesting, interesting. I think everyone's needs are a little low. We're gonna end the gathering here. Oh God, very sad from jealousy, okay. She's super jealous of Nalani and it's not good. Oh, and he's a uh, awkward encounter. He had an awkward, oh, with Nina because Nina he, Nina tried to floor with him and he said no. They're feeling awkward. I love when the club gather again. They're all like, oh, we're having, a f we're now 
<laughs> dealing with the repercussions of our actions. Kaylee and Raul are sleeping in the same bed together, despite all odds. Kiyoshi's gonna go sleep on a bench. Mina's sleeping on a day bed. Jade's sleeping in her bed. Where is Clement gonna sleep? Is he gonna sleep on a day bed too? Probably. There you go. All our islanders are in bed. So we're going to turn off all the lights and uh, just let them sleep until, oh my God. Ah! Oh my God! Are you kidding me, Vlad? Vlad! I swear this, I love when the Sims are chaotic and the Sims have not been this chaotic in such a long time. I feel like all my other Let's Plays, I never see Vlad. I never see like rando Sims show up and put out a fire, but this one is taking the cake. So Vlad has come in to the villa and has gotten into Jade Rosa's head, who's already was dazed from a fight earlier with Santa, but now is being drunk from, from Vlad. So huh? Vlad has now entered the Lushruck Island lore and is uh, drinking from Jade. Fantastic. Uh, looks like the other Islanders are waking up. Oh, and are uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, Kaylee, can you like do something? Nope. I'm stuffed, couldn't drink another bite. I won't turn her, but Jade's plasma is so delicious. It'll take a lot of garlic to keep me away next time. I'll be back when I crave another midnight snack and Jade's passing out. Poor Jade, oh my gosh. Jade's back up. She's feeling very tense from recalling her first fire. Oh, while she's cooking. Yeah, feels bad. She's also feeling sad about, bitter about <laughs> Clement Frost. Poor Jade's been through a lot in the last like 24 sim hours. Oh. Nalani is feeling very embarrassed because she was caught with our girl Kaylee. So she's, it's, it's kind of hitting her that she's feeling pretty bad. She wants to be friendly five times with Jeb. We can definitely make that happen. Be friendly with Jade. It seems like Jade's like her closest friend. And Kaylee's crying in the shower because uh, this love, love struck island experience is not going the way she planned. But girl, your outfit is this life. I love it, girl. Kaylee's gonna go back to crying it out in her bed. Morning has broken. The Islanders are getting their lives in order. It is 4 a.m. I don't know why they're all up at 4 a.m. Seems like a quiet morning in the villa. Look at her sashaying around the villa. Flipper, love you, Nina. You're the chaos I was hoping for. The villain, the icon, the legend. Okay. A girl needs to like have a little nap on the day bed here. Yeah. Perfect. Although these day beds could be upgraded to like actual day beds. These are so clever though. Oh my gosh. She did this before there were day beds. This one's okay. Let's do that. And then we'll do this in the white. There you go. And then there you go. Okay, can you sleep? Can you rest on this one? Perfect. Okay, yeah. Now we've got some day beds, cutie patoots. All right, Nalani, oh my God, snuck out to the beach and is swimming. Love that for her. Kyoshi's good. Nina's mad. I feel like she thought that her uh, bombshellness would be met with more interest. Seems like she doesn't have any like crushes or anything yet and nobody's crushing on her, but it's still early. These things can develop over time. But speaking of early, it is time to pick out who's going on a day. And oh, plenty of you guys said that it should be random. I love this idea. I like there being a mix of like our favorite couples going to dates and it being random. But since we just have two new members in the villa, I think it should be random. All right, I present to you our random spinner. So we have all of the names of our Islanders here. Okay, so first I'm gonna roll for who gets to go on the date. Is it Clement or Nina? The other person will get to go on the date in the next episode. So let's spin and see who's going on the date. It's Nina Caliente. Nina Caliente is going on the date, okay. Who is Nina going on a, on a date with? Great question. We have on our wheel, Raul, Jeb, Nilani, Kaylee, Kiyoshi, and Jade. So who is our girl gonna pick for her first one-on-one -on -one date? Okay, it's Kiyoshi Ito. Nina, why don't you go ask Kiyoshi to go on a date with you? Okay, ask to create a date. She's oh, like, hi. Oh, Please go on a date with me. Okay, these two are going on a get to know you date. All right, goals for the date will be be romantic, be friendly, maybe get some drinks and some food 
and maybe star or cloud gaze. That might be cute. And our location, I'm still interested in checking out Ciudad and Nemorada. We, we did the lounge last time. I feel like Kyoshi would be into the park date, but Nina would be into the nightclub date. So we're going on the nightclub date at 9 a.m. I love that they're still in their swimsuits on the date. Let's get them into some different clothes here. Nina's in her fit and so is our boy and they are hitting the club. Let me see the club. Oh, okay. Oh, there's like a spicy little piano. We got like a little area over here and we got some restrooms, swanky little courtyard. And then there's an upstairs. Oh, wow, wow, we wow, where there's a little balcony, some mood lighting, another restroom and some a little secret closet. What's back here? Oh, a little balcony. Oh my gosh, where you can stargaze. Okay, there's a lot to do here. I really like the build actually. So let's take our two lovebirds up here to huh? sit upstairs. Okay, girl is <laughs> fiery. Do I think this these two would make a good pair? Probably not, but we're gonna have the date of the century anyway. Who knows? Maybe they'll get together. Play woohoo. Yeah, let's play woohoo with Yoshi. I didn't know you could play like board games. This is so cute. Okay, this is <laughs> such a fun little ice breaky game and it's making their fun go up. Oh my gosh, is he talking about science? They do seem to be kind of bonding through it, which is kind of cute. <laughs> I think she's asking him about where would you want to be sleep or bed someone? And he said in space, talk about horrible drinks. Yeah, she would be the type to be like, these drinks are terrible. And he's still asking about bed. And she said actually space as well. I feel like she just said that to be like him. They, oh, now she's feeling flirty. Seductive survey. Answering some spicy questions can put anyone in a flirtatious mood. Discuss your interests. He's gonna share his interests with her. Nina likes discussing interests. How cute. Nalani has learned more about Nina is now attracted to Nina Caliente. She's not even here. Why don't you discuss interests as well? She's making him laugh. Oh, that's cute. Okay. What are your interests, Kiyoshi? Okay, they're both in a bit of a flirty mood. I'm curious if they're gonna like have any vibes. Let's go sky gaze. It is like noon, so makes sense. Literally, what an unexpected couple. Ask about his love life. Give him a little bit more flirting. Compliment her little outfit or whatever. Yeah, okay. Ooh, she's teasing him flirtatiously and she's asking him about his love life. It's a bit of a steam exchange. I like this bench with the butterfly on it. It's so cute. I love that detail. She is quite hungry. Okay, let's see if we can go downstairs and finally get some food. Let's go here together and have Nina order some food. So let's go down. Look <laughs> a little sassy walk. She's like, come along, follow after me, Kiyoshi. She's getting her little foodie here. Why don't you get a little cocktail here? Order a drink. Order your favorite drink. I want to see what his favorite drink is, Kiyoshi. And look who's here, but Marcus Flex. Also a person that could be added to the villa at some point. I feel like he's just chatting with her, but they don't seem to like be flirting too much. Yeah, I'm like wondering when any of the attractions are gonna take place. It seems kind of like neither of them are attracted to anyone. It's just unfortunate. Oh my gosh, and look who's here. Flippin' Judith Ward and also Joaquin. And oh my God, all the Sims are here at the club finally. It's pretty hopping for 2 p.m. Is Kyoshi ever gonna get his drink or Shigeru? Make our drink, please. Oh, they're flirting. Okay, they do have some romantic satisfaction. Okay, but their date is almost over uh -huh. and Kyoshi's just finally getting his drink. Now, like, where is our drink? The get to know you date is complete. It may not have been fire, but it sure was a sweet date. There's a gift in your Sims household inventory. It looks like flowers. How cute. Nina would rather go talk with Judith Ward, it seems. It seems like not too many sparks flew on this date, unfortunately, but it was like fine. And Kyoshi's still waiting on his drink. He might be waiting forever, honestly. So Kyoshi, Nina, Nina, they kind of hit it off, but I feel like they need to 
you know, meet some other people, chat again. I'm gonna leave this one here, but it was extra spicy and fun. I wanna know all your guys' thoughts in the comments below. What Sims need to be added to the villa? Who are your favorites? We're gonna randomize who Clement Frost goes on a date with in the next episode, but I do wanna hear your thoughts because someone has to be voted out of the villa again. For some added fun, I'm actually going to post a poll on my Patreon for people to try to vote out their least favorite islanders. So if you are a member of the Patreon, go check that out. And if you're not, but you're maybe interested in joining, go check out my Patreon. The link will be in the description below. All right, thank you guys all so much. And I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.